Does the current state of the US housing market have you scratching your head? You're not alone. High interest rates, economic uncertainty, and a complex landscape of buyers, sellers, and renters make navigating the market a daunting task. And with the Biden administration's proposed measures, the stakes are even higher. The US housing market stands at a crossroads. High interest rates, driven by the Federal Reserve's efforts to combat inflation, pose a significant strain on both buyers and sellers. Small businesses are struggling to secure loans, and the commercial real estate sector faces challenges with a staggering $1.5 trillion in debt maturing soon. Amidst this backdrop of economic tension and uncertainty, the Biden administration has proposed a series of measures that could potentially reshape the landscape of the U.S. housing market. Among these proposals are a $10,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers, a $400 monthly tax credit for two years to help new homeowners manage their mortgage payments, and a whopping $110,000 tax credit for those selling their first home or upgrading to a larger space. Additionally, first-generation home buyers could receive up to $25,000 in down payment assistance. The rental market is also under the administration's spotlight. Plans are in place to build and preserve over 2 million new homes to lower rents and introduce new regulations for landlords and lending. Proposed measures include a rental bill of rights, which would grant tenants more power, potentially increasing the legal and financial burdens on landlords. While these measures could stimulate the market by making home ownership more accessible, there are concerns about the potential for creating an artificial bubble. Critics argue that the combination of financial incentives for buyers and stringent regulations on landlords could distort the market, leading to unsustainable price increases and potentially putting small landlords out of business. Moreover, the focus on first-time buyers and the substantial financial aids might encourage some to stretch beyond their means. This could lead to financial strains when teaser rates expire or if unexpected costs such as property insurance and taxes rise significantly. These proposed changes come at a time when the US economy is grappling with broader challenges including the impact of artificial intelligence on the job market and the financial stability of many Americans. The real estate market is intricately linked with various economic factors and any significant policy changes could have wide-reaching consequences. In conclusion, as the Biden administration's plans for the real estate market unfold, it's clear that the landscape of buying, selling and renting in America could be in for substantial changes. Whether these changes will be a boon or a bane to the U.S. housing market remains to be seen. As always, the key to navigating these changes will be staying informed, being prepared, and making smart, well-informed decisions.